All right, all right. Whew, it's time for an ice bath. It's Thursday, about 9.30. This is number 20. They say the, the journey of a thousand miles begins with one single step. Here we go. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves, listen to the birds squabbling. Mm. Ooh, that breeze does not feel good, no bueno. The sun is hitting my face. Water is fucking cold. Oh, this is 40 pounds of ice. Mm. I put 20 pounds in about 10 minutes ago and then the next bag five minutes ago. And then I got in. Another beautiful day. It's going to be, I think, in the high 80s today. It's not very hot right now. And it's definitely not hot <laughs> right here. Whew. So, uh, nothing new. Let me think. Oh. Had a really great um, dinner with some friends on Monday. Three guys that I've known for 20 years. We met at a really good restaurant called The Rooftop in Walnut Creek. It was better than expected. It was on top of a building. It was open air. It was bright. We just ordered about a dozen appetizers. And uh, some of us had some beers. I was one of those. And uh, yeah, for about a couple of, two, two and a half hours, we hung out and just talked about life and what's going on with ourselves and remembered some old good times. And, and then we went our separate ways again, scattered to the wind. I didn't get home till nine. Normally I'm in bed by 7.30. I was also a little buzzed. Um, so the 3.30 alarm came quick came quick with a headache not my first uh, uh, drinking headache so I got up made my coffee took some Advil got on with my day I did all my morning stuff and my day trading and then I just had to real rest most of the day it took a lot out of me but feeling good now Good, it's good for men to have good men friends that you can speak honest and openly with and share everything with. That's my belief. I'm sticking to it. God damn it. It's cold in here. The sun is starting to feel good though. My body's adjusting. I'm reading this book on day trading called Best Loser Wins. It's a phenomenal book. I'm gonna read it probably 10 times. But he said this thing uh, he heard about Tiger Woods. And uh, uh, 
somebody sat next to Luke Donald, who's a pro golfer, really good golfer, and he said, is Tiger Woods a better golfer than you? And he said, you know, when it comes to like hitting the ball straight and a short game, you know, we're the same. He said, but the thing about Tiger Woods is when he makes a bad shot, he's able to forget it and get onto the next hole fresh. And the guy was uh, making a metaphor for day trading that you have to be able to forget your last trade, good or bad, and make the new trade clean. And uh, in a lot of ways, doing this ice bath is good training for that because you have to get in, go through an incredible shock to your system, and then get back to a place where, you know, you're sort of calm inside of this environment. And the more you do this, the more you get comfortable with getting in and getting back to a place where you can like talk and breathe normally, even though your body may shiver. So today I'm, I'm, I'm learning, I, I've created my own system and there's a, a fine point of it that I tweaked yesterday. So today I just was testing it out and uh, it was working and uh, and I noticed after I made two good trades in a row, um, let's see, so how would, so each trade, each trade made me 15% on my account, yeah. Um, so I was up like 30% and I noticed how I was feeling that and how that was definitely going to impact my next trade like being overconfident if I didn't get back to like uh, I don't know what you call it ground zero or homeostasis the way I feel at the beginning of the day before I've made any trades because that's where you want to be that's the sweet spot anyway Interesting. If 95% of day traders don't make money, you got to do something different than what they're all doing. That's kind of the, the theme of this book. And he's an extremely successful trader, Trader Tom. And uh, he's sharing what he does, which is quite a bit different than what most books and gurus teach. making a big impact on me. I feel much more relaxed when I'm trading now and confident. Okay, um, this fucking ice bath is dedicated to da -da -da -da, Daniel M. Daniel M. So Daniel M is one of the guys who I had dinner with um, on Monday night. I've known Daniel M since approximately 2002 he attended a men's group that I was co-leading and then he um, attended many of the um, grail events that I've talked about with me and a bunch of my buddies and um, he's local so you know when we get together we call ourselves the gang of five there's five of us from the Bay Area and he's one of the five one of the founding members of the G5 and um, so Daniel what I want to say is um, I really respect how you've lived your life it, it made me think of the song my way by Frank Sinatra that you've had a, a certain way of being there's a certain style to your existence that is uh, quintessentially you and you're unwilling to deviate from that and I really respect that um, Daniel's also very generous there was a point where uh, my marriage was 
going through a transition and I needed a place to stay for like a while and I wasn't sure where I was going to go and uh, Daniel offered me a room in his house for the exorbitant rent of $100 a month. So this is a room he probably could have rented for $1,500 and, and uh, he let me stay there basically for free. He let me drink his coffee too and he had a really great coffee machine. Uh, could make lattes with it. So I was over there in Oakland for a while just kind of going through some heavy, heavy shit. I call it my Van Gogh period. Having all sorts of weird spiritual out-of-body experiences and I was just going through a transformation and it took me a while to get grounded again um, and the whole time I was at Daniel's and um, I'm so grateful Daniel for that time where I didn't have to worry so much about the money um, and I could spend selfishly time kind of sorting things out. I have really fun memories to Daniel, which I wouldn't have had without you, uh, giving, letting me stay at your place, um, of going to Razzo's Pizza, getting a big slice of pizza. And then there was a, uh, back in the days of DVDs, there was a DVD store next to the pizza place. So I would go get a couple of DVDs, and then I would go back to the house and sit on the sofa and uh, eat my pizza my Diet Coke and watch a movie and uh, it was very pleasant. I still remember that so fondly. Um, and, uh, uh, and Daniel's basically retired. Um, I mean he doesn't work his corporate gig anymore and he's become a coach. Which again I really respect. He's coaching people on how to be creative and he and I had a really interesting conversation about how I consider myself a writer, uh, not an artist. And that I think of an artist as someone who does something with their hands to you know, transform materials into art. And I don't, didn't think of writing as being an artist. But I do think making a video sort of is an art, is being an artist. Anyway, we had this really interesting conversation and made me think more about uh, embracing my own artist, my own inner artist. So for all that, Daniel, I love you. You Obviously, what I've shared, you've had a huge impact on me. And I'm so grateful you're in my life. And uh, look forward to the next time we get together for dinner. Hopefully it is again at the rooftop in Walnut Creek. That was so much fun. So um, this, this ice bath and all my freezing and my now shivering all this positive energy is dedicated to you. Whew. Beautiful blue sky. love hearing the birds. I'm really grateful I have a backyard with big trees around and uh, lots of birds still alive. Even though we're cooking the fucking planet, there's still a lot of beautiful nature. Oh, and shout out to Chelsea Handler. She is living my best life, I tell you. She was at Wimbledon, watched the tennis match, uh, something I've never done. Don't really have a huge desire to do it. But then she went to Africa and is on a safari. And that's something that's on my bucket list. And I got to get that done. So Chelsea Handler has inspired me once again. The way she's living her life full out. Um, it's, ins it's inspiring. It's awesome. Um, and uh, when she, I saw her looking at elephants and you know, jumping in these big, you know, ponds in Africa and the red earth and 
eating good food and hanging out with a bunch of our friends. That's my kind of trip. And uh, I'll commit to do that in the next three years. So within three years, I will take a safari in Africa. Go on a safari, see the animals. Holy fuck, that was the fastest ice bath I've ever done. Wow, it's 15 minutes. Oh, it feels so good in here now too. I'm not freezing. I'm shivering, but I'm not freezing. But I have to get out. Okay, here we go. Mm.